our top story this hour. 27 Movement for Democratic Change supporters arrested by police last week on accusations of fomenting post-election violence have been granted bail in the Harare High Court. They were arrested after President Emerson Munangagwa in his ruling Zanu PF party were declared winners. Outside court, MDC lawyers welcome the judgment. Optimistic, the accused will be acquitted. The court has granted bail to all the accused persons. The court has indicated that uh, it did not consider any of them to be a flight risk. Uh, the judgment was so brilliant, we're still trying to process it. Uh, it, it basically confirmed what we had uh, submitted to the court, which is that uh, the accused persons were definitely proper candidates for, for, for bail. Violence erupted last week. Six people were killed in an army clamped down on the protest. The opposition MDC disputes the outcome and says the vote was rigged. MDC leader Nelson Chamisa is expected to challenge the election results in court this week. The party claims security forces were abducting its members in night raids to intimidate them and to prevent it from challenging Mnangagwa's win in the presidential vote. The court uh, touched on uh, the merits of the case and uh, highlighted the uh, glaring weaknesses of the state case, which we also highlighted uh, during our submissions. We have no doubt that uh, these people are going to be vindicated, these people are going to be acquitted. In fact, it is a waste of the state's resources to even uh, contemplate prosecuting these people. Zimbabwe's foreign minister denies the accusations, saying if there's any evidence, the military will investigate the cases. Under the constitution, a losing presidential candidate has seven days from when a winner is declared to challenge the result. The court must rule within 14 days. Nangagwa's inauguration will have to wait for the outcome of a court challenge. Ndundu Sitole, SABC News.